Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good day, good night, everyone who happens to be watching this video. In this video, we are going to be talking about the newly announced Total War, I quote, game, which is called Total War Attila, also known as Total War Rome 2 Part 2. Total War, we are totally pretending this is a game and not an expansion just to get your money. Total War Barbarian Invasion, the game. Total War... At Shogun 2 Fall of the Samurai Part 2. Napoleon Total War Part 2. Total War, haha, we built up all the hype by saying that we're going to announce a new game, but in reality we're just going to extend Rome 2 by bringing you an expansion. So, quite simply, enjoy! So hey guys, of course Skippy here, I think we've already kind of got through that, but um, so yeah, yesterday Rome 2 finally announced the new Total War game. I, I previously made a video explaining my thoughts, my kind of speculation of what the next game would be, and what I would have liked it to be, so feel free to go check out that video if you haven't already, uh, I'll put a link in the description. But um, so yeah, they actually announced it yesterday, um, I was watching the live stream on Twitch. Uh, I uh, it's complicated because they are. Uh, the simple fact is that Creative Assembly are not actually making a new Total War game. They are in fact making Total War Attila. For those of you who don't get what this means, they are making um, a standalone expansion for Rome 2. It is technically a new game in its own right, but they are calling it an expansion, and that's what I'm going to call it because from the gameplay footage we showed, yes, sure, it's pr still pre alpha. It looks pretty much the same as Rome 2 with a few, te you know, updated textures, new features. Um, and hopefully it won't be a big buggy mess. So in other words, they're trying to make Rome 2 without the controversy, if you guys get what I mean. Um, it, it, yeah, that's okay, but it's not really, it's a very misleading title to say it. We are announcing the next Total War game, but in reality, uh, announce a standalone expansion. So the reason I didn't upload this video yesterday or film it, I'm, I'm making it the next day. i probably upload it today too, because it surely won't be a very long video. I hope it's not. Um, not too many points to cover, seeing as they haven't actually released much about the game yet, besides announcing it and showing a bit of footage. Um, the, the reason I didn't put a video yesterday is because, firstly, I was busy. Secondly, I, I didn't feel into Total War after that announcement. I mean, that's false, I was playing Rome 2. But, um, you know, I didn't feel like talking about it in the sense that I, I, I feel kind of let down. I'm not sure how you guys feel about this. Seeing as the majority of this video will most likely be negativity, I'm going to start on a positive note. Um, of course, I can't judge the game before them announcing it. Uh, sorry, I have announced it. Before them releasing it. And so don't take this the wrong way. This is purely a speculation. Anyway, it's not positive. I'm going to say, all right, firstly, I did thoroughly enjoy Rome 2. I know a lot of people didn't, and that is perfectly fine. You are entitled to not enjoy Rome 2. I personally did enjoy it. And I will almost definitely get in total you know, I'll almost definitely be getting Total War Attila. Um, the, you know, I'll most certainly get it. It certainly does look like an improvement from Rome 2, even if it's only slightly. And I'm sure I'll get it and thoroughly enjoy it. At least I'm hoping I will. You know, even if it's a bad game, because I've had such good experiences in the past with CA, with um, games like Rome 1, Medieval 2, uh, N Napoleon, perfect example for me. Um, I, I do trust CA to, you know, not cock it up a second time. Um, uh, not not that Rome 2 was a cock-up, because yes, it had bugs at first. I, the biggest problem with Rome 2 it was controversial. Anyway, I'm not going to go into that. So yeah, it looks to be an interesting game. Certainly a very unique idea. Um, I think the title is trying to, you know, the, the whole point in it of them calling it Total War Attila instead of Barbarian Invasion is so that people don't get angry about the price that they are most likely going to sell. Because they're going to be selling this standalone expansion for full price game, just like they did with Fall of the Samurai. Um, and Napoleon to an extent, although technically, for the, for, because I've seen a lot of comments about Napoleon, I'm hoping it will be like Napoleon. Napoleon was originally planned as a standalone expansion, however, Creative Assembly actually released Napoleon as a separate game, not as a standalone expansion. The reason for this is Napoleon, when they made it, suddenly became a lot bigger than they thought it would. So stop comparing it to Napoleon, please. Napoleon was not a standalone expansion, and unless Attila 
is no longer a standalone expansion. It is nothing like Napoleon. If anything, it's like Fall of the Samurai. So yeah, I feel as though they are renaming it to Attila instead of Barbarian Invasion 2. Because one, of course, they want the uniqueness. They want to focus mainly on Attila the Hun and the Hun invasion of Rome. But of course, it's not, it's not purely centered on that. It is the same as Barbarian Invasion. Pretty much the same map. Um, you know, the... the for those of you who don't understand what I mean by that, I, of course I know it's Europe, of course I know where all the places were, but what I mean by new, the same map is it looks almost identical. And that's quite hard considering historians haven't plotted exactly, you know, the exact locations of everything um, in the Dark Ages because of, of the lack of uh, resources. So it looks almost identical to Barbarian Invasion. Uh, but the problem is Barbarian Invasion was released very cheaply for Rome 1 as it was an expansion. They're releasing this as a standalone expansion, probably with as much features as Barbarian Invasion, uh, but at full price. So that's something I'm not happy with. Uh, of course it's pre-alpha, they've just announced it, I can't judge, but that's not something I'm happy about. But one of the biggest things I'm not really happy about with Attila, just remember this is speculation of mine, I have not played it or anything yet, of course not, it's pre-alpha, they've just shown some footage at the announcement at EGX. But the thing, one of the things is mo that's most annoying is the fact that they went and told everyone we will be announcing the next Total War game at EGX London on the 25th of September at 4 o'clock p.m. UK time. This misled people. People thought they would be announcing the next Total War game. If you guys were watching the Twitch livestream, you would have seen how hyped this thing had become. There was so many, it, literally, on all the games before, um, they went and started jumping in, uh, you know, Total War people jumping in the Twitch and saying, hey, skip this, we want to see our Total War announcement. Anyway, it finally came on, people were hyped, really hyped. There was, you know, a little uh, leak of an image of Attila, but people thought, oh, it must be the the next game must be Attila to Attila to War or Total War Attila. They did make that, but they they said it was a standalone expansion. I mean, come on, CA. You said you were releasing, well, announcing. Not sorry. When I say release, I mean announce. You said you were announcing the next Total War game, not the next Total War standalone expansion pack. I once again urge that I will still thoroughly enjoy the game. I'll still buy it. I'll still thoroughly enjoy it. I'll still be uploading videos to my channel. I'm not angry about the idea of the game, I'm sure it'll be very fun. The thing I'm angry about is the misleading title. Um, because we were all expecting the next game, not the next standalone. Uh, so don't take this the wrong way, don't think I'm hating on Attila, because I wanted to have the rights to do that, they haven't released it yet. And two, um, I, I'm not, you know, I, I, pos I think it's a great idea. I simply think that one, they shouldn't be spending this much time on something that they could do as quick as they did Barbarian Invasion. And two, I don't think that they should have had that misleading title. On Voragate 3, I don't think they should put it the price that I'd be willing to put down money and bet that they are going to sell it for. Willing to bet they do as they did with Fall of the Samurai and sell it for an incredibly high price. But that's not the most annoying thing. That's a very annoying thing for me, but that's not the most annoying thing. The most annoying thing for me about Total War Tiller is if you think about it, this means that Creative Assembly will not be announcing the next Total War game till 2015. That means they will, if they put the effort in, most likely not be releasing it till 2016. And if we look back at the last time they did this, they made Shogun 2, 2011. They made Shogun 2 Fall of the Samurai, 2012. Between 2012 and 2013, they developed Total War Rome 2. They rushed the game. It was a buggy mess. I'm sure CA have learnt their lesson, and if they do this, then it means that the next Total War game we will see will possibly even be in 2017. In other words, Attila is confirming to us that we're not going to see the next Total War game for a lot longer than we originally thought. So, there's a, that's the major problem I'm having with Attila is that they're not going to be announcing another big Total War for a while unless they rush it. So that's the biggest letdown for me. That and the misleading title. Besides that I will probably enjoy it. I'm definitely going to get it. I'll probably enjoy it and you guys can look forward to seeing some more Attila content on my channel. The only problem I have 
is I think the safest option for CA would have been to go away from Rome 2, if you guys know what I mean. Because Rome 2 is a very touchy, very controversial topic because there are some people who seriously hate the game and there are those who absolutely love the game. Um, there's no one single viewpoint. You know, not everyone's saying they hate the game. Not everyone's saying they love the game. It's very mixed. And as such, I think say it would have just been better to send out the Emperor's Edition, which I think we can all agree is much better than the original um, Rome 2. And I just say, okay, that's the, that's the end of Rome 2. Now we're going to go somewhere completely different. You know, Medieval 3, uh, Total War China, Total War Victoria, something like that. Um, the problem with staying with Rome 2 and its controversy is if they cock this up because they're running on the same Warscape engine that was used in Rome 2 that doesn't work with melee combat as Shogun 2 and Rome 2 have shown, if they cock this up then it is political suicide. So tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think Attila was a good idea? Do you think it was a bad idea? Do you think that we won't see another Total War game until 2016, 2017. Are you looking forward to Attila? Do you think it was a bad idea that they stayed with Rome 2? And do you think that overall this was simply political suicide? Um, this is Skipper, and I'll see you guys next time. Management now. So the eagle-eyed among you may, may notice that we've reinstituted the family tree for Total War Attila. Um, <laughs> hey, thank you.